Good evening, everyone, and welcome to this Up North Hockey podcast presented by GNB Environmental. For a healthier and safer indoor environment, visit gbenvironmental.com or call 1 800 466 2018. And today on the podcast, we have Greenway head coach Andy Sturdich and junior defenseman Bodie Jorgensen uh, joining us here today. Uh, thanks for joining us. And first off, uh, this is this is for you, Andy. Uh, we would just like to send our condolences to your family after, after the passing of your uh, grandfather, uh, Mark Sertich, back in August. Uh, of course, he was a national hockey icon, uh, holds the world record for uh, the oldest hockey player uh, at 99 years old. Uh, so what did, what did your uh, grandfather mean to you, and did he uh, leave you with any uh, secrets when, uh, before he passed away? Uh, he he meant the world to me. Uh, he used to help my dad coach when I was in youth hockey, and he was, I guess you'd say he was the calming guy on the bench. Um, you know, I could go to him with any problem, and I had throughout my whole college and pro career also, uh, I'd give him a call if I was down. He could always lift you up. Um, and he just kind of instilled that sense of of confidence and call him on a guy when you hung out with him enough. So it was, it was awesome to have him for 99 years. Um, and it was a really well lived life. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, just a big loss there back in August. And, uh, now he won't be able to see you, uh, be the head coach of Greenway, obviously, but let's talk about that. Your first season as the head coach for uh, Greenway, of course, you're the assistant coach the last couple of years. So this is for both of you, uh, how are you guys feeling going into the season and where do you guys think you stand in the Iron Range Conference and uh, Section 7A? Bo, do you want to take this one first? Yeah, I got it. Uh, we'll be young this year, but we have, we're tough and uh, we're getting speed this year and obviously lost a couple people last year that were key to the team, but it, once our young guys will get through the systems and stuff like that, we'll be up there with the top three again this year. Yeah, to touch on some, some of the points Bodie made, we did we lost a lot um, of offensive firepower. But at the same time, we have guys that I think that can fill those voids. Um, we're going to play hard. We're going to play smart. Um, we have had, you know, a little time only to for these young guys to learn these systems. So they will be getting better and better at this stuff um, as we go along. But number one, we do want to play fast. And as far as the Iron Range Conference, um, it's, it's tough to tell. We're, we're shooting to win it, um, as we are every year. And we're just going to have to see how we go through the year, and we'll make adjustments. You know, I think that's, that's a good attitude for the thing because, you know, coming in young team, you don't know. Uh, you could get some young kid that, you know, he's in that growing process right now from a sophomore to a junior like Bodie where mm – -hmm. He come into his own and, you know, carry a team and really step up to the plate and other people are going to look up to him. So um, I believe that the Iron Range Conference, everybody's capable this year. Um, we're going to be doing the game Thursday night in, in Greenway. So that's going to be fun. That'll be our first game of the year. Um, I love that place. I love to play hockey there myself. But the one question that I kind of lead towards is uh, you as a new coach coming into the season – um, as a head coach, this delay, um, being away from the new players, trying, I know that you've been around these kids, but mm -hmm. to, you know, to, to be not, you know, be at the rink with them day in and day out. Um, and this question goes for you too, Bodie. I mean, how have you guys literally kind of stuck to your team, kind of kept the morale up um, through this whole COVID thing? And, you know, and then you guys can throw in on this too. How's this mask thing going to work for you guys? It's been tough right away. We, you know, we've had, since we started and we could get together, we've had nine practice days. That's it. Um, and the first two we used as a tryout period for everybody on the ice. Um, and then we got into our varsity and JV and we have kids, you know, that are practicing both, but it's been tough. I, I still, I still need to work on those relationships with those 10th graders and ninth graders that are on this team and that are going to have playing time this year. But you know, it, I'm taking the mindset that we're just going to grow as a team. These first games are, we're, we're going to see where we're at. We're going to figure out what we need to work on, what we're good at, what we need to focus more on. Um, and we'll just go from there. And in, in this climate, in this 
pandemic, that's all we can do. We got to try to keep a, a positive attitude and, you know, these kids, they're just going to get thrown into the fire with this high school hockey. And, and, you know, sometimes that works out really well for some kids. And uh, with the masks, it, it hasn't seemed to be a problem. I haven't noticed it as a coach, at, like the kids, you know, it's been bugging them or anything. I guess Bodie can talk more to that, but you know, they're, I think they're just excited to play hockey and they'll do anything to get out on the ice. Sure. Yeah. Well, you know, this summer and like early stuff like that, we normally would skate out in Greenway, you know, like summer camps and stuff like that. And we didn't have that this year. So we all kind of rallied up together and kind of just said, Hey, you know, like we'll try to find some ice here, there, you know, we try to do workouts and stuff like that and just trying to get build relationships and stuff like that. Like we've all played together, you know, and it's all about fun and that's what we're trying to have this year too. So great attitude to have. I mean, it's all about fun. Um, high school hockey was the best, some of the best hockey I experienced in my life, you know, and I'm sure Andy can say the same thing, you know, the high school hockey is, you know, those are memories that outdoor rinks, those, those sometimes are stronger memories than any memory you're ever going to have. Absolutely. I mean, you grow up with these guys and, you, you know, you're, you're playing just for the love of the game and the pride in your school and your jersey. So th that, those bonds are a lot stronger than the ones sometimes you find a, as you play on after high school. And, you know, I got to give it to these kids. They've had a great attitude coming out to practice. They've been working hard. Um, I know they were skating on the outdoor ranks as soon as they were open because they, they wanted to be ready for the season. So I have nothing but good things to say about this team so far. And, um, you know, I, I just want to continue that work ethic so that they, whenever we do run into a, you know, a road bump, our work ethic is going to get us out of it. You know, we're not as skilled as we were in the past couple of years. And sometimes that can bring a team together even more because we're all in the same category together. You know, we're, we're, we have to be an actual team this year to have success where you have to be able to rely on everybody for the scoring and everybody for the defense. Uh, here's a question for you, Andy. Who's, who's going to replace you as assistant coach this year? Is Adam, ja uh, Adam Johnson back too this year? Yeah, Adam's back. And then uh, Steve Arbor is back as our JV coach, and he's going to help on the varsity bench with uh, – you know, with the shortened season and everything happening so quick, we just decided to keep it us three. Um, we're all, you know, friends and familiar with each, with each other's coaching styles. And um, we just thought that might be the best option for this year. And Agreed. it's, yeah, Agreed. it's probably uh, two coaches for games too, I would assume. So that's probably, probably the best decision there, obviously. And uh, here's a question for you, Bodie. Um, what did you learn from the players from the last couple of years, obviously you played, played with uh, Ben Trombley and Christian Miller and a couple others. What did you learn from those players when you played uh, your first season of high school hockey last year? Uh, uh, well, I learned a lot of things or whatever. More like I learned a lot of system work and just how to calm down or whatever. Towards the end of the season, I kind of developed as a player, I think, just understanding like how to play the game of hockey and just going that out there and passing the puck around and stuff like that so and just being tough you know hard on pucks and just simple stuff like that that can really make a good player better so yeah that's that's actually you know you're right um sticking together knowing what your job is knowing that everybody andy said it earlier knowing everybody's in the same boat um knowing that you know, somebody has a bad shift, you know, pick them up, you know, you're there to help out. Uh, I believe those are going to be um, key things for, for you guys. Um, I'm excited to do all these games, you know, over the last year I did just Grand Rapids games and I'm excited about getting around and doing a lot of games. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. I Blake offered me to come work with them guys this year and I couldn't be more happier right now. Yeah. And you know, I, I think especially the Iron Range Conference is going to be so competitive. You know, there might, I, I'm sure all these teams are going to have, there, there's going to be mistakes made, but I think the kids are so excited to play hockey that they realize how precious this is to even have 18 games. And it's going to be entertaining hockey. And I can tell you that the Iron Range Conference is going to be working hard every team. Um, so it, it'll be battles out there, which will be really fun. 
Yeah, you're right about that, Andy. The IRC is going to be wide open. You know, a lot of teams lost the uh, uh, big senior groups. Your team, of course, Evelyn Gilbert. Uh, Hibbing Chisholm has some players returning uh, for this year's senior class, but yeah, it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see see that battle for that IRC uh, uh, title for sure. Yeah, I, I mean it's wide open, like you said. It, we don't we're going to have to play these teams. Um, at least once and figure out, uh, you know, what the kind of the standings are here right away, because really w there's a lot of unknowns coming into this season. And uh, at, at Greenway, at least we're, we're just trying to control as much as we can internally with our work ethic and, and, you know, staying together as a team. And I think if we do that, no matter where we end up, we'll have a successful season. So how was, I was talking about, you know, something else here, how was uh, some of your other team leaders besides Bodie, what kind of, Who's your, who's your goalies coming up? Um, what do you got going for them? We have a, we have a junior, Nathan Jurgensen, who is going to get the nod as a starter, but we also have a sophomore in Ethan Ambule that's going to – he's going to fight for minutes. Um, you know, both both very good goalies. We only have two, so we're – that's all we have in our high school program right now. Um, and then up front, we have we have seniors Aiden Ryla, Derek Davidson, and Ty Donahue. They're going to – I'm going to lean on them heavily for – you know, they're going to almost be like an assistant coach out there um, where it, when it's just me and Adam, they're going to have to, they're going to have to take it on themselves along with Bodie too, on the, on the defensive side, but those guys are going to have to take it on themselves to help out those young kids. Um, they're going to have to be teaching out there and they're going to have to keep those guys confidence up when they need it. So it's, it's a good mix of older senior kids and leaders and younger kids that, you know, are little, you know, are going to need some experience and they're going to get, they're going to get it real soon. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Well, I think that's all we have here tonight. So uh, we thank both of you for joining us. Good luck on Thursday night. We'll see you there as uh, we'll be live streaming that game on Up North Hockey, 7 o'clock start at the Hodgkins Broader Arena in Coleraine. So, like I said, good luck on Thursday night and the rest of the season. Thank right, you. Thanks, guys, for having us.